Jerry back with that theatrically Jerry. This is part three of my in-depth review on V Show's S711 Buddha. So part three, I'm just gonna go over my final thoughts on this light fixture and whether it's worth the asking price for it. Currently it's going for a little over fifteen hundred dollars. It is a six hundred watt beam spot wash frame moving headlight, so the price point is spot on. It's actually pretty affordable, in my opinion, for something with this much technology built into it. Um, I do like the framing system on it. It's very smooth. It's clean. It's sharp. The focus is sharp on this light fixture. Um, the fans are a little noisy. You can hear them running right now. There is an option in the menu setting to make the fans a lot quieter, so it's not a too big of a deal. Right now I have it running on its normal setting. I like the colors. They're very rich and saturated on this light. Um, I also love the zoom. The 16-bit linear dimmer is very smooth on this as well. Um, I do feel like their S712 and S716 have a slightly smoother uh, dimmer on them. But that is due to the fact that their LED light source is a lot lower of a power intake. So the higher the LED power, the harder it is to control the dimming on it. So I do believe they've done the best they can with a 600 watt LED light engine. Um, a couple of things I don't like about this light fixture is how heavy it is. But I, I guess they can't do anything about that. I also don't like the touch screen on here. I actually hate it on their whole line of light fixtures. It's just not very accurate. I would have preferred just some normal buttons to press and not a touch system. However, on the S711, these buttons are a lot more responsive than the S712 and the S716. Their buttons were a lot uh, less responsive. So if you haven't seen my review on the S712 Kuan and the S716 Goku. You can check that out on my channel. Um, I do like all of the built-in glass gobos on here, as well as the static gobos. I wish they would have included a extra prism because there's only one prism on here. I would have taken the extra prism over the extra frost filter because it's not too big of a difference between frost one and frost two. Um, during startup, it's a little noisy. It's, it's going through all of its settings and it's checking all of its motors. And when it gets to the framing, it's just super loud. So when starting this up, it's going to be super loud for you guys. Just giving you a heads up on that. Um, it did arrive to me in good condition. However, there was a scratch up here. V-Show sent me out a replacement one as quickly as they could. Um, a, a replacement part, not a whole light fixture. So I took this part off, put a new uh, part on. Another thing I don't care for about this light fixture is the screws. So they have a new screw system on here where you don't have to actually unscrew the entire screw to get the body off. It's more of like a, like a pop so when you turn it to the left, it's just going to pop up and you take it off. However, um, retightening it was very difficult for me. And I did end up stripping a screw a few times. So I'm just going to give you guys a heads up on that. Uh, the screws that hold the body together are a little wonky or iffy. Um, other than that, this is a great light fixture. I'm glad I purchased it. It's going to go great on my lighting rig. Um, it has so much capabilities to it that what I'm going to use it for is going to be endless. So in that terms, um, I love this light fixture. If you are looking for a very advanced professional light fixture, go ahead and purchase V-Show's S711 Buddha. I do give it my thumbs up. Speaking of thumbs up, if you enjoyed watching this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down below. I do answer all comments and questions as quickly as I can. 
If stuff like this interests you, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, at Theatrically Jerry. I review a lot of light fixtures, atmospherics, DJ equipment, stage equipment, stage lighting, you name it, I review it. So if that stuff interests you, follow my channel. And of course, thank you guys for watching.